this place is a mess. Look at this. <clears throat> Oh, okay, I think I'm ready to go here. Hello, everybody, and I hope you're, hope you're having a great day. hope it's a nice, productive one, and I hope it's going nice and smooth. I wasn't sure what I was going to do my next video on it, to be honest with you, but um, I figured why not. I'm, I'm going to be working on a G1 Megatron for resale. Um, and... I don't know why not so let me just show you what I'm working with here I have these other parts too I'll pop those out real quick but I'll take a look here the side isn't too bad actually the side was actually nicer than this before but I tried using a seven in one buffering kit and um, it didn't work out well leave it at that so but this one look at that right there see that that's a nice gouge. And look at all these little scratches and stuff like that. This side is pretty bad. I actually just started working at the top piece. And to me, it already looks better, but it's not done yet. And this is pretty done. I'm basically, basically just going to be chilling here, working on this guy. And I guess when I stop recording, I stop recording. Okay. So... I have all the little DVD pieces, like right here. Um, that stuff right here. It's all there. Let me see. Band that up so you can see what I'm saying. Right here. Here. Yeah, all those little pieces. Today I'm just going to be working on Megatron's legs because they're a bit more more of a challenge because it's a much harder plastic this is like this top quality if you will and it just doesn't it takes a bit more effort I'll just leave it at that oh, so without further ado um, I guess I'll start at the bottom why not <clears throat> so what you're really just going to be doing is So you want to find your targeted area. Let's we'll start, why not, at the bottom with that neat, deep, nasty gouge. I don't know if I'll be able to get that out and try. That's going to be a challenge. But, um, and then, yeah, pretty much do this for a bit. But, um, yeah, I restored uh, G1 Megatron already, which uh, I have shown in my, one of my prior videos. It's up on YouTube now if you want to see it. I did an unboxing and everything. I'm not going to bust it out. I'm down to business here. Uh, but I tell you, I really love restoring these little guys. You know what? I'm just going to show you this. Take a pause from this. I picked this little guy up at a flea market. This is a Transformer Armada Blur. Now he's missing his little robot micromaster i think or whatever it is and he's missing his weapons but and this guy was just absolutely filthy a long story short look how nice and i kind of like polished it up and made it look nice again like that and the figure's not worth much it's honestly even looks like this it's at best a ten dollar figure but i want to i want to keep it so that does that means nothing um, you made it up okay, there, so let me show you here. Alright, now, it's hard to notice, but already the edge is starting to be a bit smoother. And what, basically what you're going to do is uh, buy one of these, like, a four nail, four one nail buffers. This is what they look like new. I had to look for this brand, this kind again, because Tar uh, Walmart changed them up they sell these weird ones and they went there and they're more expensive and it's not about the money but the, it's like they went up a buck but so it's not like but the fact is they're just less effective and that one experience i had was enough to tell me i'm never doing that again 
know, there's an old saying, if you find something that works, you just stick with it. Uh, basically, this is all you're doing. You, you do it, you, and you're going to go from step four all, all the way, or step one all the way to step four, which is finally buffering it. And even then, that takes a while, too, because, uh, well, once you get into the buffer stage, you start noticing little lines that you made. Now, they're, keep in mind, they're little tiny lines, so, you know, they're easy to get out. But basically, not only get your first go around at it is just getting rid of the original scratches. Let's see, and you can start seeing the dust build up there, see, at the end. And then, <clears throat> once in a while, where would I put that damn polishing cloth? Here it is. Once in a while, I like to run, pol run the polishing cloth over it just to, just to keep it smooth. Just to try to keep things. Because when you clean it, it's also important when you're doing this to clean it in a certain pattern. Like if you want, first off, to me it just makes sense to go left to right. I mean, I guess you can go up, try up to down, but I don't know. To me that seems like it might have disastrous written all over it. But basically, and it takes a lot of time and patience for this, but I don't see. Let's see how we are. Oh, um, the gouge is still prominent, still obviously, but the scratches around the the gouge and the scratches on the side right there are starting to get smaller, and that's what we're going to be looking for. So we're just going to now it's like keep on keep it on. And <clears throat> but as I was saying, like it's a lot of fun restoring these G1 transformers. Um, I'm starting to get better at it, and that makes me happy. This one, this project right here, is more of a not that my pride isn't going to be into it, of course, because I want to make sure I do the best I can. But this is going to be more of a profit piece, I guess you could say. Like you know, I'm not keeping this. I brought uh, I brought this in a lot you know, a while while back ago, and I didn't know what to do with it because I was still working on the original Megatron, so I kind of just put it aside, and let it be until the right time came, and the right time is upon us. So, and that and this is going to be a job, so. And don't be afraid to uh, apply pressure on here. Just make sure whatever pressure you apply, you do it in one direction so it looks smooth when it comes time to the final stages of buffering it. So, um, yeah, yeah, let's just keep on trucking. All right, we're going to, you know, I'm gonna, you know, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop every so often and look. Mm -hmm. But recently I've put put together a, de a nice little collection. Uh, I picked up some knockoff seekers, which are pretty nice. Pretty happy with those. And I'm going to be putting up a loose, you know, a loose uh, file, not file, um, I'm just calling it a wall thingy right now at the moment. <laughs> <sighs> pop my head oh, but look at that you can see how it's actually starting to impact it right there right it's not nearly as deep as it was before and that's what you're basically doing you're basically um, I guess you could say maybe taking a layer off possibly um, but either way it's gonna come out the same color and as long as it has that nice shine and no scratches that's what you're looking for so but, okay, and you can see in the reflection of the light, they look at the difference of how smooth it is over the areas I've gone over, as compared to if you go, go all the way up to the top like that, follow the light beam right there, you can see right there, 
Yeah, this this guy is in need of some TLC, and it, it might take a bit to get him where he to be. But I have the time off, so I think uh, I think I could probably make some pretty pro pretty good progress if I keep at it at a steady pace. So. <sighs> I recently went to the flea market and um, I didn't do as good as I did the time before. Uh, I'm hoping when I picked up, I thought I went with like safe, what I thought were safe bets. Um, we'll see if it pays off. It might not. You always run that risk. Reselling on eBay, buying and reselling on eBay. I always run that risk. Oh. Nothing in life is guaranteed. So, let's see. Okay. Oh yeah, we're definitely making. Yeah, we're getting there. Look at that now. See what I mean? And <clears throat> it's a lot more polished looking than up here. And I know it looks off now, but basically they're gonna get all of this. <clears throat> to like be nice and smooth like that and you know of course before all said and done you, you're always going to give it, you're going to be constantly like using that buffering rag this buffering cloth is one of my favorite things yeah it, it keeps it nice and polishy and shiny and uh, if you run it over uh, like I don't know scratches if your light scratches enough it will eventually get rid of it of course, it's going to take a lot, but, you know, I just basically use this to go out and, like, you know, once well, like, while I'm doing what I'm doing, just taking, you know, like that, like that. But I, I tell you, I've, in my time, restoring toys, I've learned a lot of things you shouldn't do. I have some ruined toys because... Because of it, I used to have two Constructicons, and um, well, their fate didn't work out too well. So, but I did recently pick up, like I said, that um, Transformers Armada Blur, and then I picked up Optimus Primal, which is that thing is just that thing, no, ridiculous looking thing, anyways. And I picked up, what else was it? Oh, the, that Bumblebee, which, you know, I tried selling. No one even took for parts. So I'm probably just going to keep collecting whatever junkers I find and eventually throw them, like, in a big part slot. And we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll get something. All right. So I'm going to keep on keeping on. But I have to say, my collection is getting, getting, I'm happy about my collection. And it, it's getting there. And I'm lucky to have my fiance, who I love dearly. Well, she, she supports it, and it's completely awesome. And as long as I don't lose money, I think that's going to be like the big thing with her. If I ever lose, start losing money on a regular basis. Um, but I don't usually do that. Sometimes I'll have, like, my times where it's like, eh, that didn't work out well. But, you know, whatever. So, here we go. Okay, so let's see, I'll, let's see let's see, look at that now. Remember how, in the beginning, how deep and ugly that gouge was? gone. That's, that's, that's looking up. It's looking good here. Eventually I'm going gonna, gonna to start at the bottom, work my way to the top. That is the game plan here. Very simple one too. Let's see. My window's open, so you may hear some precarious shenanigans going on outside. And the fi and the fi they finally fixed. Sorry, they finally fixed our room up. So 
back to what it looked like before. And it's nice to have it back. To be honest with you. I really couldn't do much in it. Because I didn't, it just felt too closed up and just wasn't very comfortable. So. Okay. Let's see if we get in there on that. Look at that. See? That's what it's all about, man. That's nice. And you can see the other scratches that were in that area before are pretty much down to like little nubs, like little micro dots, if you will. And it looks good because you're doing, you're doing the whole area. Like on something like this, you just don't have the luxury of like picking out the one little scratch. There's other plastics that are much easier to work with than this. It's going to, if you work on one area, you're going to have a nice shiny polished area with the scratch gone, but you're going to have an area surrounding it where it looks just out of place. It's like the one neighbor that mows his lawn or you know, trims up his hedges while the other ones are just, you know, it's going to stick out like a sore thumb. So you really have to basically do the whole figure, no matter what. It just takes a little time. Patience and obviously dedication. So, so. I'm going to keep on I'm going over this gently. I'm going to take a sip of my iced coffee. I tell you though, <clears throat> it's just very rewarding. I don't know. It just really is. Knowing that, you know, you have the ability to. And I'm still learning. You know, I, I've, I have this funny feeling I'm always going to be learning in what, doing, doing restoration stuff, so. But, um, I think I, I'm pretty decent at it. And I prefer to do this, I, you know, honestly, chemicals are a last resort for me. Some, and there's some areas you can't avoid them, like to de-chrome that. I have one last piece to de-chrome. Uh, that, you have to obviously have to use chemicals. There's just no getting around that. But if you're able to do this without putting anything on it more than some elbow grease that's nice now look at that it's almost it's almost like you can miss it now before as book compared to before look at that like hello oh where we what oh there you are right there and it's getting there I mean, this is definitely this is definitely getting there Oh, and I'll show you on the Indian scene, you know, just for shits and giggles. Insides are nice and clean. All the screws are there. Um, the joints on the inside are tight. It's actually a very nice... It's not a loose toy, you know what I mean? Let's see. No, leg sticks out. That's actually a little tight. So, all in all, uh, this is a little tight. Probably because it's an old toy and it hasn't been transformed in a lot, in a long time. Yeah. You're gonna be a pain in the biscuit, aren't you? Okay, I'm not gonna try to force it. Yeah, there we go. 
Okay, but like you see, it's all, all in all a nice clean figure. I'm not going to do anything to that inside. Absolutely not. I'm going to touch that all. And to me, it's not that important because I'm going to be putting stickers up in there anyway. And I mean, it's still not bad. It's not bad. You know, but I'm sure there's some, you know, scratches. Man, that's like, there we go. Jeez Louise. Okay, so let's get back to work here. Okay, back to work. But yeah, it's just a pretty cool feeling. With anything else. And then you get, I try to get it a good home, you know. Because I'm sure whoever, you know, usually when I put a restored piece up, whoever's buying whatever they're buying. Yeah. They're buying it because it looks nice. I like to have my stuff look nice. So, I, we should be to the point where this is gone. So, um, there's just a smidgen left. Just a smidgen. All right. This is where you can, and I get this might be nitpicking, but at least for me, this is how I feel. Where it can be, you could get a little patient, and you're gonna you want to grind away on it. No, you don't. You want to press down hard. You want to be firm with it, you know, and really get in there. But at the same time, you don't want to just go like rabid, bat shit crazy on it. You really want to just kind of keep that same consistency, and eventually it'll get there patience. Sometimes I have it, sometimes I don't. But I reckon that kind of applies to a lot of people I would have to imagine in life. Okay. Where was the, we are almost in the home stretch. Look at that. Look at that. Still, it's, obviously there's still those little areas there, but they're definitely that tunnel light is coming up. I mean, uh, this is almost kind of like one of those hobbies, like a uh, uh, wood whittling, wood whittling, right? A lot of looking, stopping, looking. In my case, throwing a polish on there. Back to well, I'll probably go to the rag again if it doesn't come out this time. We'll see. And we are so right there. That almost looks gone completely. But that that's still got a life left to it. I'm just gonna Go at it with the cloth a little bit. I have a G1 Optimus problem that I've had for a while, and my, my fiance convinced me to keep it, to be honest with you. I did have, initially have plans on reselling it, but. And the reason being is because my, my grandfather right there, that's my crusty Optimus right there. He just probably won't ever be restored, but. I'm proud to have him in my collection. But my grandfather got me this for Christmas when I was a kid. And you know, he's passed on now, but it's always one of my fondest memories getting off this prime. And I got Megatron too. So and back then I had like both, whatever, but Transform's nice too. Nice tight joints. Uh, it's actually not a bad figure. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe one of these days if I ever, sorry about that, if I ever feel, feel so inclined to do so. But most likely, no. I'm being honest. Uh, probably never be restored. I know you gotta love my professional camera work here. I do try. I need a new tripod after the fire. Took some damage and stuff, but. I do need a new tripod. This thing moves on me. It's on the to-do list. Everybody has that to-do list, right? 
film. I'm thinking. Let's see. Come on, you know you want to be nice and perfect. I think I got it this time. I think I can, I think I can. Did I get it? No, we did not. See, this takes time. But look. Let's see, can you even really see that 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 you just got was there? Barely, and eventually that'll be gone too. But like, look at that. So, and I have to give this, uh, learning to do this, I wish I could take credit for it, but I can't. I always give respects and credit where it's due. I read about this technique on the TF2005, it's, it's the Transformer website. A lot of message boards and all that stuff. Very helpful information. I learned a lot from them. And this was one of the techniques I picked up. And it's been one of the most important ones. That's how I was able to restore the first you one Megatron. Okay. Did I get you? I get you. Let's take a look. Huh? Is it gone? Oh, right there. You you are just a stubborn little guy, aren't you? That gouge didn't even stand a chance compared to you, huh? Okay. Well. And I have to say, I, I started collecting this really, I'm off barely a year in, not even a year in, I'll say, collecting Transformers. There has been a lot of cool ones that come out, and I like them a lot, but I could see, I could see how they gouge people out of, you know, possibly billions of dollars. I don't know if they go that high far as sales go, but I'm sure the sales are up there. The Hasbro, they make a killing off these things. But I like to focus on my G1s because, well, quite frankly, those ones I held fondly as a kid, and I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels that way. So I'm not unique in that aspect. However, if I'm going to put my TLC into something, it's going to be on G1s. And I can promise you this, uh, you'll never see a Beast War figure like being shown in my collection. I may have it just to want to make some money off it, you know, on eBay or something, but I hate Beast Wars, I hate the figures, I hate the cartoon. Yeah, well, to be fair, at that point in time, I was just, you know, you get to a certain age where toys become less important. Or important. Okay. Okay, right there. Oh, there you go. Wow, this guy is being stubborn. Uh, the rest of it, though, hey, at least, I guess the one thing is, look at that. Look at, like, say, the first five underneath. Look up, right? Maybe six. And then compare it to the rest. So you can see the difference. But I don't know. I figure why not I'd share it with you. I would like to at least get this little part done. I'd like to at least get this little part done. Alright, so what I'll do is, yeah, just real quickly, so I'm going to turn, it's starting to get hot in here with the, 
layup. Shut it right, right down on there. So let me just what you'd quickly do is you'd come in with step two, which is the ridge remover, and you'd you know, just basically do what you were doing before. Who knows? Maybe this will we'll call this the last hurrah here. Let's see if I me actually doing it. So oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. It's it's barely there, but yeah. Okay, so so then you take go three right here like this. This is the smoothing. This kind of smoothens out whatever scratches you may have put in there. But we'll get them all. Like I said, after you're fit, done with this, you're gonna have to see scratches. Those those scratches were caused by you though, but they're pretty shallow scratches. And you basically just got to kind of go over it with like basically buffering it type thing. Let's see. And let's see if this pops. Look, let's see if this pops nice and shiny. They should start doing it. Okay. All right. See, now look at that. You remember how it kind of looked dull before compared to the top? Look at that now. Now that's just with the smooth nail portion of the little kit. Yes, I know this. This is what women use on their nails. And last but not least, you want to. We're gonna try to put a nice little shine on this. Right there. Side four. This is and it's pretty and pink. All right, so we're gonna just work on that then in, in the video. And I may work on it afterwards, I mean, but I don't wanna sit here in this lamp and quite frankly, the AC is in the other room. So. That's a, you know what I'm thinking. Ten, no more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ta da! Let's see what we have. And wow, look at that. Look at that. It's now. See how that buffers and shines? So basically, you get it, get what you're going to try to do with this. And again, this is not going to be like a quick thing. But look at the results. We can't argue with results like this. Let's see, get it in here without. Hold on, I'll turn the heavy light. Oh, overhead light. Oh, Let's see if it shows it. Okay, let's see if this helps. Look at that. That is just beautiful. And that's what you ask for. That's like just fresh out of the factory shine right there. And it's obtainable. Just got to put a little uh, elbow grease. But you can get it there. And as you can see, this is a start. A small start on this figure. But a start. And a promising start. And um, I'll end it on that. Uh, well, let's be honest with you. I did a video restoring it from beginning to end. Well, geez. That'd be like a novel. So, but uh, I hope you'll have a good day. And um, remember, try to live life to the fullest and, you know, be yourself. So that's all you can be, right? Look at that top growth side about your gut. They're, they're doomed scratches. Dun, 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 dun. So, there you go. Look at that. Look at the top, right? And the handle there. Let's see how it. And like go all the way to the bottom and look at that. Just nice. Nice, nice, nice. <sighs> Anyways, hope you have a good day. And then on that note, God bless, take care.